Good day students, welcome to math.serve.com. In this clip, we're going to be going over problem number 19 of our mathematical induction proofs, which is to show that 2 to the n is greater than or equal to 2n for all integers greater than or equal to 1. If you find the contents of this presentation helpful to you, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Your positive feedback is very important and supportive to us. All right, so let's all go ahead and uh, get started with the proof. So this is what we are asked to prove, um, that 2 to the n is greater than or equal to 2n for all uh, positive integers and greater than or equal to 1. Okay. Um, Okay, so let's write this as a statement. So let the statement Sn be 2 to the n greater than or equal to 2n for all um, n greater than or equal to 1. Okay, so if we can show that Sn is true, that basically accomplishes the goal of the proof. Now let's start with the base case of our proof by mathematical induction. So for the base case, we just have to show that um, S1 is true, show that S1 is true. Why do we start from S1? Well, n greater than or equal to 1 is a set of all integers 1, 2, 3, on and on. So the first one, the base or the foundation, is n equals 1. Okay? So let's see if we can show that that's true. So S1 is a statement 2 to the... Instead of n, you put in 1, as you can see for the index there, greater than or equal to 2 times 1. So is this statement true or false? We don't know yet. We have to simplify. So we have 2. Is 2 greater than or equal to 2? 2 is equal to 2, so this statement is true. Okay? So that follows that S1, the foundation, or the base case, is true. Okay, now that we have a, have a solid foundation, we're going to advance to our inductive hypothesis. Okay, so for our inductive hypothesis, we're going to just um, assume that this inequality is true for some arbitrary um, k value, okay, in the set of positive integers. So let's assume, assume that S sub k is true. All right, so we're just picking this arbitrary starting point, and the goal here is to show that if that's true and the next is true, then that's true for all positive integers, okay? So what does inductive hypothesis mean? Let us assume um, that S sub k is true for some integer, for some positive integer k. Integer k. So in the context of this inequality, what does that mean? It means that then the statement s of k, which is 2 to the k greater than or equal to 2k, is true. Okay? Um, for some uh, positive integer k. All right, so now that we have our inductive hypothesis um, together, we're going to move on to the final part, our inductive step. Okay, so for the inductive step, this is the goal right here. Inductive step. For the inductive step, we want to... Um, Show that the goal here is to show that um, if S sub k is true, the hypothesis, then that follows that the next step, which is S sub k plus 1, the next integer after S sub k, is also true. The next position after S sub k, which is S sub k plus 1, is also true. Okay, so if we can use this inductive hypothesis to show that the next step is true, then we can conclude by induction that this statement is true for all positive integers n. Okay, so for this particular inequality proof, we are going to start with the inductive hypothesis. All right, so start with 
the um, inductive hypothesis, which we're assuming to be true. Okay, so we know that 2 to the k is greater than or equal to 2k. This is true for some k greater than or equal to 1, some positive integer. All right. Now, what we're going to do is we want to um, generate s sub k plus 1. Okay, so let me put the side goal here. So the goal is we want to show that 2 to the k plus 1 is greater than or equal to 2 to the quantity k plus 1. So this is what our goal is. All right. So how can I generate 2 to the k plus 1 on the left side? And then how can I use my inductive step to show that the right side is going to be less than the left side? All right. So what we're going to do is multiply both sides by 2. Okay, multiply by 2, 2 times 2 to the k. Since 2 is a positive integer, it has no impact on the orientation of our inequality. Okay, so when we double this, we can also double this inequality scenario. So that follows that um, 2k is greater than or equal to 2, since k is greater than or equal to 1. Okay, now using the properties of exponents, we can combine... Uh, the left side here, so we have, using the product property of exponents, this is 2 to the k plus 1. Okay, so that's greater than or equal to 4k. If you look at the left side of our inequality, it already matches the goal. Okay, now the right side is, we want to show that this left side is bigger than the right side. Now, this is the clue right here. This is a hint that's going to help us to accomplish um, our goal. Okay, so we know that 2k is greater than 2. So if I can extract a 2k from this inequality and replace it with 2, I know that that 2 is going to be less than that 2k because uh, of this inequality statement right here. Okay, so we have 2. Let's change the color there. We have 2 to the k plus 1 is greater than or equal to 2k plus 2k. Okay. Um, and then let's see what we have. We can now make a substitution. We can say that 2 to the k plus 1 is greater than or equal to 2 to the k plus 2. Okay, what enables us to make that? Uh, well, since, since 2k is greater than or equal to 2. We, we talked about that over here. All right, so we can make this um <clears throat> we can make this statement here. All right, let's go ahead and see what we can do. So don't forget our goal is we want to have two times the quantity k plus one. So just by factorization on the right side, we should accomplish that goal. So two to the k plus one is greater than or equal to two times k plus one. All right, so this statement is basically s sub k uh, is true. All right, so we have S of K, which is 2 to the K plus 1, is greater than or equal to 2 times K plus 1, is also true, based on this hypothesis that we have up here. Okay, so that's the inductive step. Let's go ahead and write down our conclusion. So our conclusion is by... Mathematical induction, induction, the original statement, which is uh, 2 to the k greater than or equal to 2k, 2 times k, is true for all, for all n greater than or equal to 1. Okay, so that's basically how you prove that inequality using mathematical induction. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. Really appreciate it. As indicated earlier, if you found this contents of this tutorial helpful to you, do give us a thumbs up. Your positive feedback is very important and supportive to us. If you have any questions about the contents of this clip or mathematical induction in general, just place your questions or comments in the comment section below. And we'll be more than glad to support you. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for updates to other cool math clips such as this. More tutorials can be found on mathcutserve.com.
Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.